Yeah. Hello, everybody. Please have a seat. Have a seat. Well, welcome to the White House, everybody. Congratulations to the Yukon Huskies on your second straight undefeated season and your second straight NCAA championship. I want to point out this team has not lost a game since I was elected president. I'm just saying. I want to acknowledge a few UConn fans who made the trek from the other side of Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, we've got Senators Chris Dodd and Joe Lieberman in the house. And Congressman John Larson and Joe Courtney are here as well. Now, when, when this team came to the White House last year, uh, I was just pointing out to, to Meyer, we went out back. I've got a little court. We shot a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to say who won. <laughs> but I noticed then there, there were people who were saying, you know, these, this, these Huskies, they've, they've got a little much, too much swagger uh, because uh, they said uh, that they'd be back in 2010. They said that at the time. Uh, I'm not sure anybody believed them. I believed them listening to them. Uh, and that confidence was well-deserved. Uh, this team has had an unbelievable run. I think most of you know the statistics. Seven of the last 16 NCAA titles, six undefeated regular seasons, four undefeated championship seasons. And last year, Coach Gino promised you guys would go 40-0 this year. It's not uh, your fault that he can't do math very well, and there were only 39 <laughs> games. So. Coach, you can't win 40 if there are only 39 games, but 39 and 0 <laughs> is pretty good. Uh, these uh, women beat their own NCAA record uh, to become the first women's basketball team in history to win 78 games in a row over the past two years, it, which is just a staggering achievement. And I was telling them, Michelle and I work out in the morning. To, we got a little gym here in the White House, and um, we just watch Sports Center. I know you'll be surprised that we don't watch uh, the uh, news shows. <laughs> uh, but uh, th this is really true. It, you know, during the entire season, I just kept on repeating, and, and I truly believe this was the best team in all of sports, any sport, any gender, by far. And, and it was uh, just something that uh, made us all made us all very proud. I want to point out that uh, Coach uh, Gino's teams have had a 100 percent graduation rate over the past 25 years. And that's true again this year, because uh, these players work as hard in the classroom as they do on the court. Uh, I want to congratulate the seniors that graduated last week. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, number one uh, WNBA draft pick, Tina Charles, uh, <laughs> going to be graduating. Jackie Fernandez, uh, Megan Gardler, uh, Kalana Green, and uh, Kylie McLaren. Give them all a big round of applause. Congratulations to Tina for winning the Naismith Trophy as Player of the Year, for graduating as UConn's all-time scoring leader. Uh, I do have to say, though, Maya uh, has her sights set on that record. Uh, she's coming after it. Uh, and, and Maya, congratulations on being uh, named uh, the Final Four's uh, most valuable, uh, most outstanding player. Uh, when you consider that Maya says she approaches her academics as she does her basketball, it's no surprise that she was named uh, first team academic All-American for the third year in a row. That is worth an applause. <laughs> so obviously, uh, this team was under enormous pressure uh, this season. Uh, everyone was watching and waiting for them to stumble, figuring out 
uh, figuring there was no way for them to go undefeated again. Uh, when your toughest test uh, came in this year's national championship game, um, as I, you trailed the longest that you had all year. Uh, you came out swinging in the second half uh, and brought that championship home yet again to the stores community that loves and believes in you so deeply. Uh, and when you're at home in stores, you apply the same winning attitude off the court. You read with elementary children, spend time with cancer patients. Uh, today you brought that sense of service to Washington, visiting uh, wounded warriors and Walter Reed, and I know they were thrilled to see you. Uh, whether it's winning a national championship, balancing practice with schoolwork, or serving others, uh, these young women uh, made it all look easy, uh, despite the fact that uh, we all know they put in enormous amounts of work. Uh, it's that perseverance and dedication uh, and that will to succeed uh, that makes them so special. And that's why every single one of these young women sets a terrific example for girls and women today uh, as athletes, as scholars, and as leaders. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, Coach, you have uh, just been an extraordinary leader, and I think uh, all of us uh, are extremely proud of, of the example that you've set. Uh, so as your president, I commend you for setting that example. Uh, as the father of two tall girls uh, who are also very cute and also uh, do great work in the classroom, uh, I'm just so glad that uh, they've got all of you to look up to, and I thank you for it. Um, I will say I will be very impressed if you make it here a third time in a row. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. Give them a big round of applause. Basketball team, we would like to present you with a back-to-back -back national championship back -to -back ball. Back-to-back na national championship ball. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, all right, all right, hold this up there. <laughs> nice. That is very nice. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Here, let me. Oh. Brian. Thank you very much. All right, but uh, somebody wants to strike this podium, so we can, we're going to get a good picture. Once we're done. Yeah. Service with a 